guys, Auto Fanatic. I've had this request to do this video and show you guys that all have 2015 2018 Ford Mustangs. The rear deck panel gets scratched extremely easily. A lot of guys have emailed me every month hey, I can't get the scratches out. What do you do? What do you use to do it? Uh, before we go any further, I want to explain to you guys up front this panel from the factory is not factory painted. This is not a base coat, clear coat. This is injected molded with the gloss black finish as a very, very thin layer as it comes out of the mold. So what they do when they inject mold parts like this, they want to have a finish. Uh, what they do is they spray the finish, usually in a powder or liquid form, into the mold. As the plastic gets injected molded into it, as the heat exotherms, it bonds to the layer that they sprayed into the mold. As it comes out, it's a finished part. It eliminates uh, prep, eliminates paint, and for mass production, that's just the way stuff like this is done. These panels are very susceptible to scratching because the back of the cars always collect a lot of dirt. Then when you go to wash it or if somebody goes to touch it when you open up the trunk, this whole area gets scratched. Now, I did this a uh, number of months back. Somebody tried to steal my emblem and they scratched it up and I did some color sanding and polishing. So usually you don't want to do this too much because there's not a lot of layer of finish on this. So I'm going to just show you guys the prep, start to finish, the tools we're going to use, and uh, hopefully some guys could pick up some ideas on how to get this done. I'm sure it's driving you crazy. You probably don't want to spend two to 300 bucks on a new tail end panel from Ford. Uh, but like I said, with a little bit of patience, a little bit of finesse, you could just knock this out quick. And uh, let's go over to the table and I'm going to show you the tools we're going to be using today. Using the Griot's Boss finishing system, yellow, orange, and white. I got various pads here. Uh, we're going to do yellow and orange. We don't want to go too aggressive with the white. This is a different vendor's white pad. It's a little bit softer. We're going to use this on my smaller Flex Compact. Got some Meguiar's Professional Cleaning Clay. I'm uh, going to use my 007 Gloss Enhancer as a lubricant. Some Griot's PFM towels. Finish line tape. I have my Griot's Boss G15. And this other stuff I'm going to show you is protection tape that I use. This does not have adhesive. This is the same material when you uh, see a new car on the dealer lot and it has that white film on it. This is that material. I get this from a company. Uh, I buy it by the case and we use this a lot when we protect cars, uh, especially around door edges and when we ship cars on trailers. I do a lot of protection work with this because it will not lift paint, especially on specialty cars or cars that were repainted or even vintage car that was painted a long time ago. Sometimes masking tape will reactivate and cause the paint to lift. This stuff is super safe. Sometimes I lay two layers of this down and then I'll put the 3M tape over it and it's good to go for transport. So let's just get over to the car. So we're over back at the car. So the first order of business, feel the deck lid, okay? If it's rough, this one's got a little bit of stuff on it, which I'm gonna give it a quick clay and I'm gonna show you guys quickly how easy it is. But you want to do that first. Make sure your car is clean. Make sure this is decontaminated as best as you can. Use a good cleaning clay. Use a good lubricant. You don't want to introduce more scratches into the panel. That's going to just totally make you nuts. We're going to protect the lower bumper here. We're going to mask off up here. We're going to mask off the emblem. And then uh, we're going to get this started. So let me, let me just get uh, the Meguiar's Professional Clay. Liberally spray my 007 Gloss Enhancer. We're going to use the Meguiar's Professional Cleaning Clay. And you don't want to put too much pressure. You don't want to mar into the surface. Just go nice and easy. And you can start to feel the resistance change as you're doing this. And then always check your panel and your clay as I'm showing you there. So that's pretty much done. We're just going to give it a good wipe right now. Rio's PFM detailing towel. Uh, these blue ones are great. I really, really like these guys. Uh, the size of them just makes doing stuff like this a lot easier because if the towel's too large, it can kind of get in the way and get snagged on emblems and stuff like that. So that's that. Okay, feel it again. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Now, the reason you want to do the clay, um, years ago, a lot of the polishes had a solvent base in them and it would reactivate a lot of this crap and get it off but a lot of the new waterborne stuff doesn't have that in it so you don't want to have all this contaminants on your car 
and you start polishing, it's going to psychologically make you want to put more pressure and concentrate on a spot. Then you're going to cause a heat mark, you're going to burn it, you're going to just cause problems. So just make sure your surface is always prepared. Now we're going to uh, get this thing masked out for you. Now before we go further, when you're working on a trunk, I always take a screwdriver and I lock the latch. This will give you about another inch of clearance. So as you're coming down with your machine, you're not going to burn into the bumper, or in this case, we have the vinyl decal. So that's just a little tip uh, to do that. And also, as you're doing it, you could actually put your knee under the deck lid and go with your machine. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that, just so you constantly could go to the edge, and you're not going to hit the tail lamps and possibly cause issues with burn marks and edge wear on this particular piece. Right, so we're going to first start by protecting this entire area here. And what I usually do, I take this material, and it's pressure sensitive. And you're just going to roll it out. And always use a new razor blade. I'm going to see if I could find uh, a source for this, because we bought this many years ago, and I have so much left from my old shop. And I'll be honest with you, I don't remember where we got it from. So, we'll do two layers. And that's it. And what's great about this material, you can hit it with the wheel, and it's not going to like reactivate and burn, and the wheel, the edge of the pads will just slip right off. It's super great. And then, in some cases, depending on what we're doing, we will take the 3M tape, and we'll actually apply the tape over it to give it even more protection. But we don't really need that in this case. Uh, we're going to do a light cut and polish. And we're going to mask off the upper edge here. And you're just going to go to the leading edge. Stretch it all the way through. And a little tip, if you want to uh, apply tape and get it perfectly straight, you have to put tension on it. And that's how you lay down stripes with the 3M finish line tape. And you guys can probably see that there. In the camera, that's perfectly masked off. So we're not going to do anything on the sides. We're just going to be careful, and I, I'm show you. We're going to. I'm going to put my leg on the deck lid and hold it up, and I'm just going to put a little bit of tape around the emblem. Even though the emblem is not really going to get burned, but it's just one of those precautionary measures you, you probably would want to do, and it just takes a matter of seconds. Just cut a piece of tape like that, and then I just fold it in, almost like you're, you're folding in a box, and that's it. So we're all protected. All right, guys, we're back. I got my Grios G15 with the orange pad loaded up with the orange color-coded polish. And like I said, you want to load up the pad. Uh, you don't want to go crazy. This is not a painted surface, a conventionally painted surface. And you're going to want to use the least aggressive means of doing it. Uh, if ordinarily, if this was painted, I would just use my 3401 or a rotary, but we're not doing that in this case. And you're going to want to let the machine do its work. You're not going to want to really put a lot of pressure down on here. Why you protect this. If you look here in the very far corner, the pad won't touch there because you've got to lift the trunk up like this.
when you guys are doing a piece of plastic like this, you want to have a fast travel speed. You don't want to sit there in one spot because you're going to cause this panel to melt. I uh, hope you guys got a, like a little bit of a tip. Just use your leg and go over to the edge, and this is going to give you full coverage of the pad. And uh, like I said, don't be afraid to move the machine around and use the edge a little bit to get into these recesses around the emblem. So we're going to give it a quick wipe with a PFM towel. We're going to kind of see how we did. And I'll tell you right now, it pretty much looks perfect. That got all the little fine scratches out. Wow. Yeah, I actually love the, uh, the Griel's Boss system. It's got to be one of my favorite systems that I've seen come along in over the years. This is coming from a guy that strictly used McGuire's Professional and 3M Perfect It for many years in the shop. But uh, this stuff is a game changer. It really is, especially when you're working on show cars and really delicate surfaces like this. Right now, I will tell you, I don't even need to get my Flex Compact tool out because we were able to get all of the scratches and everything out throughout the whole panel. And black does not lie. So you're going to want to just go down and you know play with the light and look at the reflections and if there's anything that you missed, you know you, you could just go back over it. It'll just take you a couple of minutes. This is not a hard job to do. And then you're going to feel it. You're going to look from both sides. And we're looking pretty good. We're looking really good. So I'm actually going to switch pads. We're going to put on uh, the final finish, which is going to be the yellow pad with the Perfected Cream. I'm going to give it one more pass, and then we're going to throw a coat of Colonite 915. We're going to buff it off, hit it with uh, Auto Fanatic 007, and we're finished. Got the yellow Griot's pad with the Perfected Cream. So we started the job in the middle. We didn't go with the fast correcting cream and a microfiber pad. We went with an orange pad with the orange boss correcting cream. Now we're using the perfecting cream just to bring out a little bit more luster because like I said this is plastic, it's not paint and you want to go nice and easy. Also travel speed, move it along, don't go slow. Use the weight of the machine. When you're working with a piece of plastic that's molded like this with the finish, you don't want to bury the machine into the, pa into the uh, panel. You want to use the weight of the machine and gradually finesse it over the panel. Let the machine do its job. Let the natural weight of the machine do its job. You don't want to put too much pressure on it because you will destroy this panel. Mist. And like I said, the yellow pad with the perfecting cream works outstanding to give it a nice final finish, especially on black. And that's why I highly recommend it. I've been recommending it for months. You guys can go on my channel and see some videos of me using this system. And I use it not just with the Boss machine, I use it with the Flex 3401, I use it with rotaries, uh, all different ways. You could use it if you know the application. That's it. We're good to go. And the Boss Creams, they finish out extremely well. And we're pretty much done. So now at this stage, remove the tape. Remove the tape from the emblem. Get that out of the way, and uh, I'm going to grab my Colonite 915. We're going to give it a layer of protection. This is it, guys. This is the wax that I swear by. You guys have been seeing this on my channel, and everybody that has listened to me has thanked me day after day because it's probably the best paste wax that I've ever used, and I continue to use it because it works. It works really well. And like I said, this is just going to help 
with some protection, giving it a fresh layer of protection. I haven't put a coat of wax in this car in probably six months. And the more protection you have in the back of the car, especially back here, it's not going to let all, that, all those contaminants that fly over the car and all the dirt to collect, embed, and accumulate onto the back of your panels. So this will help your maintenance washes and also eliminate the need to uh, clear your car on a regular basis, even if you leave the car outside. So let's just give this a couple of minutes to flash, and then we're going to buff it right off. We let the uh, Colonite 915 flash. This rag is slightly damp with the Autofanatic 007. And if you watch my video on how I apply the 915 wax, that's just a technique that I use. You always just mist your pad and your removal towel to just do a better job. That's it. And then just to get any smudges, a couple of sprays of the Autofanatic 007. And the hundreds of guys that have bought bottles already on the what we call pre-sale, you guys love it just as much as I do. That's that. You could just use your key while it's in your pocket to uh, click the trunk like that. And we just unclicked it, and the finish is flawless. And it's an overcast day today, and that's one of my favorite days to do anything like this, and that's why I decided to do it this morning. And the number of requests that I've gotten on my channel, I was like, you know what? I think it's time to uh, show you guys how I do it. It's relatively simple. It took me about a little over 10 minutes. I showed you guys how to prep the car, initially clay it, the materials that I use, the Boss G15, with the orange correcting cream and the orange pad. Then we finalize it with the yellow pad and the perfecting cream through a coal of Colonite 915. Finally went over the car with the Autofanatic 007, used the Griot's Garage blue PFM detailing towel, the smaller ones, and you guys can see the results. It looks outstanding. So I hope this uh, video could help some of you guys out. There are thousands of people that are crazy car fanatics like I am, especially to have these Mustangs, and this is definitely inevitable. Your deck panel is going to get scratched. That's just the way it is, and that's just life. So, see you guys soon. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, the Auto Fanatic web store is going to be open real soon. I'm really excited for that, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for the feedback. Thanks for the support. I'll see you guys later on another video.